Hey everybody and welcome back to Learn with Parka. I'm Chanel. And I'm Jared. And we're here to talk shop about marketing and technology and digital transformation for the staffing industry. Um, obviously we're coming off a very hot season of conferences uh, from ASA to TechServe, Giggy. Giggy. And Healthcare Summit. Healthcare Summit. So, yes. So many conferences. <laughs> <I'm> so, <tired. laughs> if you're like us, you probably are delighted to be back at home, back in the office, getting stuff done, being heads down, and thinking about 2023 and what growth looks like for you. Um, but we wanted to share a little bit of a conference season recap of just some of the overarching principles that we took away um, looking at all of the, the conferences in a snapshot. So, Jared, kick us off with number one. Yeah, number one is just uh, the technology focus throughout all the conferences we went to. I think, you know, when you can triangulate something to say that it was literally like, you know, a, a pre-conference, like full day event or like a full day was dedicated just to technology in this industry. That makes a pretty strong point that, you know, we talk about all the time that this industry is in, you know, kind of a, a mass state of evolution and um, a lot of that's focused around technology and how that's being leveraged to provide human capital to to clients and so um, yeah that was uh, you know something that we're passionate mm -hmm. <laughs> about at Parka but um, you know even seeing all the vendors you know um, it seems like it's growing every <laughs> every year with other vendors and other people entering the market solving different problems so yeah yeah uh, the second major trend we saw was just the, the whole concept of supply and demand, right? There's a massive talent shortage. That's not news to anyone. Um, but when we think about, you know, the terms and the buzzwords that we've heard throughout the last year or two, like the great resignation and getting ghosted or, you know, quiet quitting and all these things, right? So many buzzwords. But when you look at this, it's really a systemic issue of a lack of a lack of talent. Um, and I think it's it's really causing an upheaval for our entire industry, right? We're being forced to change and evolve and think differently because we are, you know, as a staffing industry, we're being driven by the needs of our clients, right? So we're they're needing to get agile and nimble and think through new ways of, of going about their talent acquisition and recruitment and retention and all those things. And you know, themes like direct sourcing um, that's become way more prominent. And we've talked about the platformification of staffing because you know just. The getting access to top candidates, attracting them, retaining them, um, that supply and demand piece is, is facing us and it, it's here for the long haul. It's going to be a, an issue here for the, the foreseeable future. Yeah, and that kind of leads us into one of the, the demographics and that is the Gen Z generation and maybe this one got put into our top five because of my, my passion for the macroeconomic environment. but. <laughs> I just, I can't get away from it because, you know, I talk a lot about with our clients and in the industry just about, um, you know, not having replaced our birth rate and baby boomers leaving and, you know, Chanel's talking about supply and demand, but I think what fascinates me is, uh, I, I believe it was uh, ASA that one of the speakers really focused on the Gen Z population and to me that's just, uh, you know, as a millennial um, myself, like I, I think that I'm uh, fashion forward, but <laughs> in reality, like this is the first generation that literally, you know, I remember not having cell phones, like my parents not having cell phones, like we didn't have- Back in my day. <laughs> yeah, Netflix, like we didn't have that. And so like, it just really hit a chord with me that, you know, these uh, staffing professionals that have been in this industry for 15, 20 years and like done it the one way, like this is truly the first generation that like there is no middle ground like yeah. millennials still have like a little bit of it but the gen z population is expecting a whole different experience and that really requires staffing leaders to step outside of themselves and look at really who their candidate is and what they're expecting and not just you know well this is the way we've always done it and you know not necessarily at the conference but bullhorn had a study uh like a month ago of like interviewing or surveying a thousand staffing leaders and then like 2,000 temporary workers and on the scale of like what was important they were almost flip-flopped and I think that's a true testament to uh, the staffing industry not really taking that time to understand what the candidate wants and so 
uh, it's just it'll be fascinating as Gen Z enters the workforce and the continued pressure it puts on staffing to innovate. Yes, and as staffing begins to, to continue to innovate, something that we took away as well was just the the desire and the the hunger to learn across our industry. I mean, our industry is growing at such a rapid rate. Um, I think that that hunger of, of just the, the desire to learn and grow and you know technology and digital transformation are a hundred miles wide, right? Some companies might think they're 50% of the way there. Other companies might feel like they're 80% of the way there, but they don't know how to get over the heap of that extra 20% that drives the, the majority of the results, right? So, um, but that is just one takeaway. It's just that our industry is so hungry right now. And I think we're really on the precipice of a ton of momentum and a ton of change um, and evolution uh, for the better. Yeah, and then the last, uh, we can't go without saying number five is just the people that we run across in this industry. And, you know, there's so many facets as us, obviously being a vendor to the staffing industry, just all the relationships and friendships we've made with other vendors and, you know, just setting up shop uh, at ASA and all of a sudden, you know, the three people next to me come over and introduce themselves and then at, at TechServe, like we were next to a couple of the other marketing firms and like there's room for all of us to play. Like there's, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know, we had a good 45 minute conversation with a couple of our competitors and so that's fun. And then, you know, obviously uh, it, this is just a fun industry. So the after parties and, you know, um, the laughs and the drinks and, and all of that, um, you know, I think sometimes Frankly, uh, when you're in the day-to-day -day hustle bustle of everything, like you forget that this industry actually is in the business of helping people grow their careers and, and make changes. And so even through some of those conversations of people that you know have been in this industry for 15, 20 years, and they're like, we keep coming back because yeah. after 20 years, you see the person you placed like in year one as like an accounting assistant is mm -hmm. now the CFO of like a global company or something. Yes, it's like, yes. I, I just feel like hearing those stories and you know, you know, sometimes they're, they're shared on stage. Sometimes it's just in conversation, but um, it really helps bring you back to like, this is a cool industry. It's a fun industry. Uh, you know, it's a growing industry and, and we can all kind of share and learn and grow in it together. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, very thankful for SIA, ASA, TechServe for all the work, obviously, that they put in yeah. <laughs> to make that happen. Uh, I think all the conferences, to my knowledge, were significantly bigger than last year. So, you know, yeah. obviously exciting coming out of the COVID years where, you know, a lot of these organizations are driven by their conferences and when they mm -hmm. can't, can't have them and can't get people together, it has to be extremely difficult. So. Um, just very happy for them that it's back and, yes. and thriving yes. and, and growing. Yes, energizing and just reinvigorating. It's almost like the, the huddle in the middle of the basketball game, right? Yeah. We all get together <laughs> and talk about what's working, what's not working, what do we need to change, how do we need to, you know, to change course, and, and that's really what conference season is. So, yeah, um, yeah that's what we've got for you this week. Uh, if you have questions or you want to just talk shop around marketing and technology and operations for our industry, we want to chat with you. So uh, visit parkermarketing.com to learn more or hit us up on LinkedIn. We'd love to chat. See you guys next time.